Well, what do we have here? We've got the DPMS Panther Arms SBR replica by Crossman. Yep, I've got air guns too. Well, hello, friends. My name's Antonio, and welcome to Back at the Ranch. So, we are not at the ranch once again. Um, last week we had another storm roll through. Uh, we've actually had storms every weekend, so it's been difficult to get out there. And uh, this coming weekend, we've actually got some family coming down, so we'll be actually uh, heading out to South Padre Island to visit some family and spend some quality time. Not fishing, though, so we're going to spend some time out at the beach and spend some quality time with everyone. But yeah, as you saw in the introduction there, you know, we've got this uh, DPMS Crossman air gun uh, behind me, as you can see above me. I do have several air guns as well. And I thought it'd be a good idea to maybe do a quick review of some of the, the gear that I've got. And I'm going to start with this one right here, uh, just so I can share something with you this week. Otherwise, I'd have nothing for you this week because I might not make it out to the ranch for maybe a week or two. So you got several things going on. So I'm going to do a little close up over here, walk you around this uh, air gun, tell you a little bit about it. I'll take that bipod off and give you a top, top uh, down view on it. And uh, maybe we'll do a little little field strip, take it apart, show you what it's all about, how it works. Then I'll head out to the backyard. I actually have an air gun gun range in my backyard, which is about 40 to 45 yards. Wouldn't use this thing at 45 yards though. Um, I'll probably set something up at about 20 yards and show you the accuracy on it and how the giggle switch works. If you don't know what a giggle switch is, stick around, you'll find out. Uh, so basically this is an SBR, what's considered a short barrel rifle. It is a BB gun, in case anybody's watching going, oh my gosh, you got an AR-15. Uh, it is an AR-15 platform BB gun, uh, runs on CO2 tanks, pretty cool. Um, you have an adjustable stock, right? It's, uh, I think it's got six, let's see, one, two, three, oops, four, five, yeah five plus collapse so six different positions you have uh, picatinny rails all the way around it does come with these pop-up sights which are you know not super high quality but they get the job done you know so they don't snap up you do have to move them up and down pretty cool thing about the uh, rear peep is that it does have a large and a small uh, size peep it is adjustable for windage. The front is not adjustable for elevation, so you only have windage adjustment, which is quite fine for a BB gun, you know. So uh, we do have a dust cover on this, which is fully functional right there. Okay. Didn't snap down, and there's a reason for that. You'll notice it actually has a last uh, shot bolt hold open. If I close the bolt, check the magazine and now it'll snap so once this is in and you pull it it will stay open and the uh, bolt hold open will not let it shut until you eject the mag close the bolt then you can snap it down right so we do have a forward assist button on here which is not functioning it's just you know they're there for show uh, as one would expect I'll put the magazine aside here for a second and talk about that in a minute. So you do have your magazine release button here, which is a very solid feel. Nice grip. Um, it is your AR-15 standard style grip, although I do not believe it is compatible with uh, AR-15 firearm equipment, so it's going to be proprietary if I recall correctly. But the uh, trigger is really nice, which we can talk about that in a little bit more detail. Let's flip over to the other side. Notice that you do have your safety switch right here. So there's on safe, you have your single fire and your giggle switch, right? And again, if you don't know what giggle switch is, stick around to the end of the video and you'll see, I'll be showing that at the end. So, and here's your uh, bolt release. So that's pretty much the exterior of it. it. Does look like the front has a compensator on there or suppressor type look. It is fixed, it doesn't come off. It's, it's nothing, it's just, just plastic. But I'll tell you this, this uh, air gun has a nice weight to it. it. It almost weighs about the same as an AR-15 pistol, which I do have an AR-15 pistol. 
weighs about the same and then the magazine is actually weighted as well so let me show you the magazine real quick so magazine as i mentioned earlier uh this is co2 powered the way that's going to work and actually for those that don't know what co2 is co2 cartridges come in these containers right here right so it runs off of two of these co2 containers so these pretty much will go into this housing on this side lift up this cap right there okay let me show you that cap there you go and then these would drop in here which there are two i'm not gonna put that in to puncture it but basically you would take this allen wrench key which it comes with and it has a nice little storage spot right here it'll snap snap in place somewhat um not super tight but it gets in there and you have two screws here on the end so you notice it dropped and then you tighten it down now i do want to point out pop this out I'm not sure if it'll come up on camera but this one here says on it first it's engraved what that means is when you put these in, you will insert this one first. Really, you can insert both, drop them both in at the same time, but you're going to tighten this one down first. And the reason for that is you can actually run this off of one CO2 tank. It needs to be on this side, and it will not release the CO2. But if you put it on this side first, in other words, you drop it over here and you crank this down right here with nothing on this side all that co2 is going to escape out here and you basically just wasted a cartridge right in fact i bet some of you would like to see that let, let me let me demonstrate that real quick this is what you do not want to do here we go got nice and cold with that co2 so that's what you do not want to do so i did it for you i sacrificed one cartridge for you so that you don't have to that's what it looked like that's what it does and wow that got cold really quick so again it takes two cartridges um, i do recommend that the uh, gaskets on the end here you do oil them with the appropriate oil i, I forget the name of the oil that's supposed to go on there but keep those uh, lubricated moist, don't let them dry out because if they do dry out, it will not hold pressure. So basically again, um, it's going in there, there's two needles, it'll puncture a hole and if you don't get a good seal, it's gonna leak. Not as fast as the way it just leaked right now, but it will leak. Okay, so again, drop two in, tighten the one, um, put it this way, it does say first, but if you cannot read where it says first because it is difficult to read, basically the one that is furthest away from the uh, loading spring so you have your loading spring right here which i'll show you in just a second there's no loading spring on the other side so you tighten down opposite the loading spring all right so once you've got those in there you're basically ready to put that into your uh air gun and go so just real quick you'll see that uh, we do have the loader right here um this actually comes with, and where did I put it? Here it is. Comes with a, a hopper, if you will, right? So this is built with BBs. Uh, basically the way this works is you're going to attach that right there, slide the spring all the way back, right? So right here, hold it down, apply a little pressure right there. By the way, I do oil mine. I find that it's easier to, to use. So the BBs, let me show you real quick. BBs do go in here, right? So you put the BBs, before you put BBs, maybe one or two drops of oil just to lubricate a little bit. And basically you pull back, hold it in place, and hit this button right here. Shake it a little bit, and you'll see the BBs dropping in. And there you go, now you can see the BBs are right in there, right? And here's your first one, pops it straight up. Now something I wanna point out, and I probably should have done this before I loaded it, but we'll see. Notice this little pin right here. It's all the way down. When this is empty, this slider goes all the way up. This will pop up, and that back basically uh, triggers your last bolt, uh, excuse me, last shot bolt hold open. So if your hold open's not working, 
check this right here make sure it's not stuck or broken if it's stuck or broken uh, maybe oil it to get it unstuck if it's broken you're gonna have to purchase a new magazine to get that bolt hold up open to work the uh, BB gun should still work even if that's broken it just won't hold that last bolt open so I'm gonna put that aside let's come back to air gun one of the things that I love about this is it's full size full weight basically you know it's adjustable it's fun to use basically if, if you want to get into uh, practicing your reps and using this type of AR-15 basically has all the exact same controls with the exception of your forward assist right and what's even cooler about this is it actually tears down the same way an AR-15 does right so this one I lost the pin so it comes out completely but typically they would stay right there and it comes right apart so I'm gonna put this aside real quick and show you the lower so the lower when you have it on safe nothing happens as, as it should be you put it in single shot you'll notice this mechanism right here and this one over here will both so this one comes down this one comes down and clicks and when your bolt comes forward it basically pushes this here pops that back resets your trigger so you can take your next shot interestingly enough this actually does have a buffer with a buffer spring that buffer actually uh, is part of the blowback action so the co2 will push the bolt back which will push this back which will bring the bolt back forward i do not recommend you take this apart it does come apart it's actually about five different pieces there's two springs in there you'll notice that there's a uh, like a pin right there in the center right lining these back up is kind of a pain in the butt it's doable if you want to do it which i do not recommend basically all you do is you hit this little pin here the same as on a regular ar-15 and that will pop right out and you'll see the springs again i don't recommend doing it i've done it before not fun to put back together uh, another thing that I do uh, caution you on since I'm talking about things not to do is when you are adjusting the buttstock, once you get to that last point, if you pull it too far, it'll come right out. There's no stop in other words, right? So odds are you're gonna pull that out like right there, it's not in. If I hold that down, there's the last stop. So it, it holds really well once it's in place, but if you pass that, you're gonna rip that right off which is really not that big a deal just you know be aware that that might happen and uh, again here's your bolt release which is functional and I will demonstrate that later once we get outside and that's pretty much your lower right there pretty simple pretty sweet put that one aside let's come over to your upper upper you think that's an air gun how many parts could there be right well check this out just like an air 15 upper charging handle release it and you're going to bring out your bolt so your bolt here is actually two pieces or three pieces excuse me if you count the uh, charging handle so you got your charging handle the bolt which is basically a weight you know it's not a real bolt um, so this is the piece that would pretty much sit right here It'll fly back lock in place right there and when you are pulling your trigger it's going to come forward with everything else and it goes back and pushes forward so that's the way that's going to work in addition to that you have basically your your gasket right here so this piece right here has like a hammer um or this acts as a hammer which hits the hammer pin so there is a pin here you notice that another gasket here so keep this gasket well lubricated make sure it doesn't dry out as well this does come apart there's really no need to take it apart unless that spring messes up um, I haven't taken mine apart don't plan to but basically what happens then is that piece right there comes and hits this pin right here which brings your BB out and releases the air from the co2 cartridge and shoots it down the barrel so those are your components oh by the way there's a bearing up here as well i recommend that you know just a little dab of oil which you can use any type of you know cleaning oil the gun oil uh, you could probably even use like instrument valve oil stuff something simple 
and just you know oil it up so it'll have some good movement um, there's another piece in here which I have not attempted to remove. I don't believe it's removable. I think that is actually part of the barrel. And the cool thing about this is that once you have it fully disassembled, I don't think you'll be able to see this, but you can actually clean the barrel. You can go straight down um, with a swab, with a cleaning rod, and clean your barrel. Now, it's a BB gun. Do you really need a cleaner barrel? Probably not. But if you want it to, you can. So this pretty much is all one piece. Um, well, it's not one piece, but there's no need to take it apart any further than it already is. But if you really wanted to, you could probably take the uh, hand guard off. You know, you can swap out your, your sides. You can take these off, put an optic on there if you wanted to, uh, which I've done before. I put a red dot on there to play for, you know, with it for a little while. But uh, reassembly. Making sure that you have the pin or the hammer side towards the pin that goes in here. This slides right over your um, bearing. Insert here. Let's make sure it's all lined up and it's snapped in. That's it, right? Dust cover closes. Bring this back over, make sure your pin's up just like any other AR-15 platform or AR platform, just line it up, make sure your pins are there. Drop your pins in. When you're ready to use it, drop that mag in and you're done. So that's how she comes apart. That's how she uh, goes back together. Pretty cool. So that is the Crossman DPMS Panther Arms CO2 BB gun. Man, that's a mouthful. So I'm going to head outside, set up a couple of targets, show you what the accuracy is like on this. So is it going to be the most accurate? We'll see. Stick around to find out. Okay, we are outside at my range. And I set the target up at... Uh, 15 yards so that, that's the target right there that black one you notice my catch box way in the far back there that's what I use for uh, other air guns so I do have another camera down by the target and it is at exactly 15 yards I did uh, range it with this XL 450 halo rangefinder uh, counted the BBs for you so we have about oh I didn't count them all between 20 and 25 BBs and there there's a few that I couldn't count because they're in, in a portion where you can't see um, you can't see the BB itself it's kind of hidden uh, but on average I'd say about 24 23 24 so we're just going with the sights that it comes basically the way it comes out of the box we're not throwing any uh, fancy optics on it or anything like that um, I'm gonna test for accuracy uh, two different ways. One, we're gonna test for accuracy single shot and I'll do five shot group just to show you exactly where it's hitting. After that, I'll flip on the giggle switch for you so you can see what that's all about. And then I'm gonna fill it up again once I run that mag out to show you exactly how many mags you can get out of two CO2 tanks. So there are two tanks and they're brand new, fresh, haven't shot a single shot yet. Uh, temperature does affect how many rounds you can get um, altitude as well again co2 tanks are very temperature and pressure sensitive as far as altitude pressure um, so my results might not be your results if uh, you decide to get one of these or something similar because there are other models that basically work the same just have a different cosmetic frame on them yeah let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot and see how she shoots I do apologize for background noise. Neighbor's a truck driver, as I mentioned in one of my other videos. Click here if you haven't seen that one. We talked about trucks flipping over with storms. Uh, so he is changing some tires on his truck. But let's get this started. So there we go. We are ready to go. Putting her in single shot. And I am noticing a little bit of a glare. Yeah, it's a glare through the peephole. So the peephole is a little bit shiny. Not a deal breaker. I'm getting a little reflection off some of the clouds there. We do have 
some dark clouds actually right now so here we go let's see where we're at and again i have not adjusted this this is pretty much right out of the box since i bought it i haven't messed with it So from here, that looks like a pretty good group considering it's a BB gun. It's about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. I'll measure that later. So I'm going to aim lower. Put that giggle switch on for you. <laughs> and that's why it's called the giggle switch. So obviously not as accurate, but that is a different, uh, decent group. Um, I did move after I pulled it. I could not stay on target because it was moving around. Or I couldn't hold on the same spot. But they're all on target, so that's pretty cool. So back on safe, completely empty. Let's throw some more in there. <clears throat> and I'll do that on this side for you. Here we go. Halfway full. There we go. And that's one of the things that kind of sucks about this hopper is once you're full, you are going to drop a few. It is what it is. So you'll notice that the bolt held open. I am on safe. Put that mag back in, and now I can just hit that bolt release, and we're good to go. And we are going to go giggle switch until this tank, tanks, run out. I'll try to hold it a little bit better this time. Yeah. Went to the left this time because I held a little bit. Or did a better job at holding, I should say. Completely empty. Let's load that up again. Go. And again, we drop two, three, put her in. Let's see if I can hold even more. I'm going to aim for the bottom ring just so we can see a different spot. Here we'll switch. Those went a little low, so I did aim for the bottom. But those tanks are running low too, so they're dropping more than they did the first couple of go around. So that's uh, one, two, three mags so far. Got some mosquitoes flying around my face. There we go, completely full, lost two babies again. Let's do it again. I'm going to aim high for the top ring just so we can see how far she's dropping. And I'll go single this time. Let's see. It's dropping about, so I'm aiming for the top black section where there's white on the side. So. Oh, dropping about three or four inches now after three mags. Cool thing about Giggle Switch is you can do bursts. And she's out. She's still running. That's four mags. Let's see if we can get a fifth one out. Those skeeters are getting me. There we go. We are full. Still have BBs in the hopper. And 
and I'll go giggle switch down low. I'm gonna aim for the bottom of the red, between red and black. Interesting. Oh, I didn't. I didn't release. That was me. I heard something fall. Don't know what that was. Oh, she's out. Yep. Something fell. That is off my bipod. <coughs> bipod button. Came loose. Okay. All right. How last count what was that? Five. You have to shake it every now and then if you get a BB stuck in the hopper. are full once again still have BBs in the hopper so at least we know that the uh, hopper can hold up to the to the tanks and we're gonna go full giggle holding center would help if I hit that bolt release <laughs> I tell you I don't care how many times you do it, it's still fun every time. This was full, by the way, to the top. I filled up the mag, topped that off, just so I could see if it would hold up to the tanks. Here we go. Out again. We've got six. Was that seven? I'm gonna have to go back and count. Oh, we're out of BBs. I got about 75% full. So that's either the seventh one or the sixth one. I lost count. Let me go single. These last few. I'm gonna go top left. I'm gonna hit for the top left between white and black. See how much drop we're getting now. There was not enough gas to get a bolt hole open. Oh, I can hear the difference. I don't even know where she's hitting. Let me open this up, see if I can spot it. I think we're done. Let's see. There's a BB in there. Maybe that fell out, let's see. Cocker again. Yeah. It does not have enough gas left over to cycle anymore, so about six to seven mags. That's not bad. I'm gonna release these real quick. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the right one out first so it won't empty the first one just so we see how much gas is left in that thing. Almost nothing. So that's pretty good. Next one. Ooh, I tightened that down a bit. There we go. Not a lot. So it used almost all the CO2 and functioned the whole way through. It did start to drop a little bit, but you know what? For having fun, you can't get any better than that. So don't remember the price of this baby off the top of my head, but I'll. I'll put that in here, 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 somewhere. Um, if 
find this a lot of different places. You can find it online, a bunch of different outlets, you know, local academy. They used to have these at Walmart as well, but uh, they stopped carrying them for reasons. <laughs> uh, anywhere you can find it, you want to have fun, I recommend it. So thanks for hanging around, everybody. Appreciate your time, and we'll see you next time when we're back at the ranch.